Grub and Chug Challenge where I eat food from different countries, chug beers from different countries, comment on them, and review them, let you know what's up. So today, as you can see by my shirt, we are doing Armenia. Armenia, very interesting country. Now, I have, it's a uh, former uh, Soviet Union country, um, very old culture, one of the first Christian countries uh, in history. Uh, there's a ton, it's a very interesting country, kind of, uh, history um very again very interesting and uh does they have amazing cuisine which i'm going to talk about right here at my bar i have some armenian food this is basically armenian barbecue and uh let's unveil it it is i'll, I'll explain later where it's from where i got it from but let's unveil look at that look Wow, holy moly, look at this. This is Armenian barbecue. Uh, also, it's called uh, shish lake. And uh, this is pork meat uh, barbecued. I'm gonna grub on that. Oh, this, this looks amazing. We'll close up on that again. There's a ton of that bread looking thing. This is called lavash right here. Uh, basically, it looks like there's a big old piece of it on the bottom and then a ton of meat on top with a lot of onions and some kind of sauce and it smells amazing. Wow, this is just holy moly. So anyway, Armenian barbecue, Armenian shashlik, some lavash bread. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Armenian food 101. Now, uh, out here in Los Angeles, uh, this is the largest Armenian community outside of Armenia. So there's a ton of Armenian places, a ton of Armenian food, Armenian supermarkets, and um, anything of that nature. Uh, a ton of really good Armenian restaurants. Now, this, I got it from a supermarket. It's basically like a supermarket slash barbecue place that's called uh, Pacific Foods or Pacific Coast. Food. Pacific Foods, I believe. Anyway, it's uh, okay, North Hollywood area, and they carry all kind of uh, uh, products from Eastern Europe, Armenia, um, you know, um, all, all kind of really, really obscure products, uh, foods, beers, um, and they cook that stuff right in front of the store for you. So if you're from the LA area, I really recommend going and checking them out. Pacific Foods Corporation, it's a, uh, like a supermarket type thing but yeah anyway and uh so that's for the grub i'm just i'm salivating i can't wait to sink my teeth into this thing this looks amazing it's still warm so they cooked it specially for me in there and i brought it back to my bar along with a couple of uh three to be correct uh armenian uh beers which uh they didn't really recommend them there was uh, now here's the thing, they, they had a ton of like, probably about 20 types of Armenian beers, but I don't really know much about Armenian beers, I've never tried any, so I kind of grabbed them by, I, I kind of looked at them, and what I like, I grabbed, so let's start with the first one, this is called uh, Yormi, look, check this out, Yormi beer, this is since 19, uh, 1970, Yormi gold, 4.7% alcohol by volume, um, original Armenian beer. Let's see, where is it? Brewed, produced, and bottled in Armenia. Like I said, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Does not say what city. I'm gonna assume it's uh, probably Yerevan, uh, capital city of Armenia. So let's give that a shot and I will follow with the grub. Let's check this out. Oh, it looks pretty, doesn't it? Looks very, very pretty. There you go, Yormi, 
gold. <clears throat> Pretty thirsty, I'm gonna give it a good chug. Let you know what I think. Slick. Look at that. Beautifully cooked. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. No. I believe the way you eat it, you can rip off a piece of lavage bread. You may eat it with the meat. Oh, look at that. Look, why don't you zoom in and check this out real quick? Mm, pork meat. Basically, shashlik is being cooked like skewers. There's a large, huge skewer that kind of looks like a sword. They put all that meat on the skewer and put it on a like large grill, which um, uh, they cook it on uh, charcoal, hardwood charcoal. And yeah, it's uh, they cook it right in front of you there. Look, you see the hole from the skewer. All these pieces were on the skewer. Mm, absolutely delicious. Anyway, let's move on. Here on the International Grub and Chuck Challenge. Armenia. Out in the Caucasus Mountains. Next beer we're gonna be looking at. Again, as I mentioned before, I've never really had any Armenian beer. I'm kind of oblivious to that, but uh, I realized that this store I've been telling you about earlier, Pacific Foods, they got a ton of different types, so. Yeah, interesting enough, I might check out some other types. Might make part two video, but anyway, moving on. Yormi Extra. No, <laughs> excuse me. Yormi Extra, 7% alcohol by volume. Mm, Armenian beer. Extra, I'm supposed, I, I guess it means strong. Check this out. So, let's look at it and see. Honestly, it's kind of weird. The color looks identical almost. Yeah, the color is nearly identical. <clears throat> okay, Yormi Extra. Let's go. Yeah, you can definitely tell that it's slightly stronger. Oh, this pork is just amazing.
really is. Yeah, to be quite frank, I think I like the extra better. A little more flavor to it. Really nice flavor to wash down something delicious as this. Hmm. Can't forget the radish. Me and food can cannot forget radish. Tons of onions all over the place you can see. Looks amazing. Tastes amazing. move on to the third beer of the day let's see this beer is called Ararat just like the mountain for those who know geography pretty good from the lens of Ararat original Armenian beer uh, bitter it says bitter 500 milliliters, half a liter. What else? What else? What else? 4.5 percent alcohol by volume. <clears throat> Let's check it out. Move this to here. There you go. We got our rod right here. Yormi extra. Yormi gold. I'll let you know which one I think is the best. Let's try the our rod. Yeah, that one's really good too. Mm. Really packed with flavor. <clears throat> it really is. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, um, I don't know if you, you know, ever try Armenian food. If not, I really recommend you try because I think this food it's one of the best stuff I've ever had out here in my bar. Really, I'm not even exaggerating. It's really, really good. It's amazing. Our rod beer. there's a ton of different uh, uh, Armenian beers I never known about it before uh, I saw about I want to say about 25 different brands so I didn't really know where to start so I, I just grabbed the ones that I kind of liked um, visually um, and, and some some brands that might have I, I thought I might have heard about like our rod I think I heard about that brand somewhere but I've never tried uh, Armenian beer. I'm gonna say it's pretty good. Out of these three, flavor-wise, at this point, these two are kind of 
battling. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm gonna try to kind of narrow it down. This is our ride. This is the your me extra. Both of them complement the food really well. Well, uh, it's really it's a tough choice. It's really tough, but um, I got I gotta say. I gotta say, our rod, guys. Look, check this out. Just flavor-wise, it's um, I, I like it the best. Yeah, I really do. All right. Interesting. I might go and get myself like some kind of six-pack or a case of that. <sighs> However, the Yormi is not bad. Also, so I recommend you try. I recommend you try all of them. If you live in the LA area. Go ahead on these supermarkets. Go ahead Pacific Foods. Try their beers. They got a ton of East European beers. They got a ton of Russian beers, Polish beers, all kind of stuff. <coughs> try their uh, barbecue and uh, uh, go on the website. Get their phone number. Hit them up. The way it works, you order it online. They cook it for you. They'll explain to you. They got different types of meats. They cook it for you. You show up. You pick it up. It looks amazing. Look at this. This thing is beautiful. I'm gonna finish eating it right now. Probably gonna finish all my beers. Sit around my bar. Do what I do every night. And uh, yeah, today was Armenia. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, International Grub and Chuck Challenge. Hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. Subscribe, uh, you know, all the spiel. Leave a comment if you want to comment about what you just saw. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you got any ideas about the food, about the beer, uh, any suggestions. Uh, we got, like I said, I always say that we got a ton of countries, we got a ton of ideas. If you have any suggestions, anything, let us know and uh, we'll gladly do it out here. We'll gladly talk about any beer uh, that's out there any food that's out there that you guys want me to talk about and all right your me extra your me gold uh armenian beers never had them before but uh i'm glad they are now part of uh the international grum and chug challenge family and uh cheers you guys let's go